Greetings to you. I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. The topic that we're getting into is five steps to fixing a broken marriage for women. I already did one for men. This is very different. You and your husband are not the same. I don't care what they're saying in the world that men and women are the same. We're not the same. I mean, please. And so when we help men with their marriage, we are talking about their wives, people like yourself, in a particular way that they start to understand you, start to realize that you're different from how they are and that they need to respect that and treat you in a way that makes sense. We explain to them that they're not perfect and they did a lot of things wrong just as you have done a lot of things wrong. But if they learn from how we teach them, especially in the course for men, because that's what we lead up to, then they can have the marriage of their dreams. For women, it's the same. For you, it's the same. My last step is to get the course for women. I'm giving you a spoiler alert. This is not an advertisement. We are sincerely here to help marriages. I used to be a divorce mediator. Been doing this for almost 23 years and we've saved thousands of marriages. By the time you're calling it broken, it's in serious trouble. And there's nothing less than the course for women that will work. Traditional marriage counseling is a pathway to divorce. It doesn't work. We are training marriage counselors now. And if you want to become one, and you'll see, in fact, it's a way to save money to take the marriage counseling course because it includes the course for women and you desperately need it. But let's get to the steps because you'll re realize that these steps are real. Number one, have a determination to br forget the past. Have a determination to bring your marriage to a place of happiness, love, and harmony. Draw a line and go, okay, I've made mistakes. Things are not perfect, but I didn't know how to be married. Where do you learn how to be married? From magazines? From your friends who are getting a divorce? No, it's not out there. Like I said, I learned how. What we have and why we're training marriage counselors now is because no one has what we have, which works. And that's the most important thing. So be determined, say, I'm not going to let the past interfere with my ultimate desire, which has always been there from day one, to have an incredible marriage filled with happiness. We get married, so we're happy. Love, we wanna be able to open our hearts, flood our husbands and our marriages with love and harmony. Harmony is so important. Number two, Acknowledge, don't just say, yeah, it's my fault, or no, it's his fault, or if only he did this, if only I did that. Acknowledge both of you didn't know what you were doing. You both made huge errors. Sometimes little errors are big errors depending on the person. The point is this, you didn't know. No one taught you. You don't have the first step in how to be married. So now, number one, you gotta be determined. I'm gonna have that marriage that I always wanted. And I don't care if this is your second marriage. I don't care if it's your 18th marriage. You never learn how to be married. It's like getting into a car and not knowing how to drive it. Now you're gonna learn. Decide, I'm gonna learn. This guy, look at, look at the comments, look at his reviews. He knows what he's talking about. I'm gonna go along with them. I have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose, but you have everything to gain. Step three, I, I don't have to share this with men, <laughs> you'll see. Never talk to your friends, your siblings, your family, even a therapist, a fortune, I hope you're not seeing one, anyone about what's going on inside of your marriage. 
Never talk about your husband in negative terms. Never talk about your marriage in negative terms. And I'm going to explain to you why. Number one, and I've coined a phrase, I call your marriage the sacred space of marriage. Sacred space. It means it's holy. It's set above all of other life's venues. Whether you're at work, whether you're at play, even with your kids, it's different. Your marriage is sacred. It's just two of you. And two of you who have done something that no one else has ever done. You have chosen to love each other unconditionally. You love your kids unconditionally, but it wasn't a choice. You're compelled to. But you chose to love him unconditionally. And now you're telling your friend at the gym what a creepy thing he did. Or you're talking to your sister about what should I do? Don't. You don't need to. It doesn't help. It hurts. The other reason why it hurts is because when we talk, we tend to embellish. And so we're exaggerating the problems because that's what our mind does. You'll learn all about this in the Course for Women. I'm not going to let you forget about that. You don't want to hear your own embellishments of the negative. You know, they even tell people who are near someone who's dying, be careful. The hearing is the last sense to go. We want them to feel comfort, love, understanding. So you have to be very careful with what is spoken, especially when you're hearing it, because you don't want to reinforce the negative. You want to be thinking about your husband in positive terms. You chose to marry him. You just messed up. It's fine. Who do you think comes to the Marriage Foundation for our courses? People who are having a great marriage? We get, I always got, you know, way back when I started this in 2001, I always got the marriages that were already over the falls. In fact, because I was a divorce mediator before, I used to talk at Second Saturday and get the women who were already getting a divorce. Second Saturday is a support group for women who are getting a divorce. And we saved all those marriages. I can't tell you how many times I would hear from someone, you saved my marriage, you saved my life. Now we have it in a course. You can do it. And then you can learn how to become a marriage counselor for us and help others. That's what we really want. Okay, number four. I hope you relate to this. Regardless of what's going on now, regardless of those tensions, recognize that it's a result of all the past bad actions, but now decide to become his angel, his goddess, his unimaginable lover. Forget all that other stuff. Re-get into your marriage the way you wanted to when you first got married. You know, people bicker and argue and challenge each other in marriages. That's not how you do marriage. That is not what marriage is supposed to be. Where did we learn how to be married? Sitcoms, movies, all this nonsense. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. And now you have an opportunity to make it all right. And how? By number five, get the course for women. You have nothing to risk. It comes with a three-day free trial. It's guaranteed. The payments are small. You can do this. I'm telling you, you need to do this because by the time you're calling your marriage broken, that's what it is you need. And then when your marriage is like amazing, and we see it all the time from people who have used our course seven, 10 years ago, it's like become a marriage counselor for us. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Those are the five steps. Please like the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithms. Share this on social media. Share this video. It's a good video. You know it is. And subscribe to the channel. And if you want to leave a comment, please do so. I love the comments. We get the comments, you know, oh, my husband and I have been watching your videos. It's completely turned our marriage around, blah, blah, blah. I love it. I love it. Because I'm an old guy. I don't need to be doing this. I'm retired. I don't take money out of the Marriage Foundation. This is my service. God bless you. I'm Paul Friedman. Take care.